Are you fed up with just how frustrating it can be to build online courses with traditional LMS plugins or those expensive SaaS solutions? Then you're gonna enjoy this video because I'm gonna walk you through just how easy and enjoyable it is to build online courses with Thrive Apprentice, the most versatile online course building solution for WordPress. On top of that, you're gonna see just how awesome the Thrive Apprentice student experience is and that's super important because happy customers mean returning customers. So if that sounds good to you, let's jump right in. Hi, Matt from Thrive Themes here, and let's get started by jumping into the Thrive Apprentice dashboard so I can show you what it's like to build an online course with Thrive Apprentice as the course creator. So we'll get started by adding a new course. And the first thing to do is to give your course a title. So this one's gonna be called Comfortable on Camera. I'm going to give it a course topic, one I've already created, video marketing, but you can, you're free to customize and create your own. And then I'm going to assign a new author. It's going to be taught by Esther Phillips. Okay, and I'll also assign a course difficulty to it. Now let's go ahead and save that work so far. And if you go back to the course details tab, you'll notice that a URL has automatically been generated for the course, but you are free to change this as you need. The next step is to add a course summary, and this will be displayed inside your course list elements to give a little description of the course. From there, you can add a cover image, and I'm going to select an image I've already uploaded to the site. Um, 1170 by 400 pixels is the recommended uh, image dimensions for this. And then we can also change our author settings to, um, to look how we want them to be. So I'm gonna upload this picture of Esther and add a custom bio for her. Okay, from there, we just need to decide whether or not we wanna allow comments for the course. And if you have a video description, you can select the video hosting platform. In this case, I'm going to use Wistia and paste the URL into the field. There we can save our work. And then let's go ahead and view what the course overview page looks like. So here you can see our, video, our course topic, the featured image we uploaded, the course title, course difficulty, and our video description, all here on the course overview page. Now, if you would like to edit the course overview page, just enter the visual editor and in the area between the about this course and um, video description, as well as, uh, and between the start button, you'll see this content area here where you can start adding text or images, whatever you want to customize this page to make it your own. But for now, I'm gonna cancel out of this and go back to setting up the course. All right, so now that the course basics are set, let's start adding some content. So the first thing you'll need to do is select uh, add less than a chapter or module. Now, all of the content inside a Thrive Apprentice course is shown inside lessons, but you do have the option to create chapters and modules, which is just a fancy way of how you display and organize your lessons throughout the course. I'll show you more on that later, but for now, let's just get started by adding a lesson. And similar to what you saw before in setting up the course description, you need to do some of the same things for your lesson. So we'll give the lesson a title and then select whether it's a text, audio, or video lesson. Okay. From here, we can add a lesson description. Okay. And then we need to paste in our lesson video URL. Again, it's important to select the correct video hosting platform. In this case, it's going to be YouTube. But if you want protected video content, you're probably going to need a service like Vimeo or Wistia to help you do that. But if you're using YouTube, I like to check the optimized related videos and hide the YouTube logo, op logo options, but these are all optional and up to you. Now, if we save that and go back into the edit summary area, you'll see that a URL has been automatically populated for the lesson. You are also free to change this here as you need. 
Now, one thing to note is this red bar on the side here, and that means that the lesson is not published. If we publish it, it will go from red to green. But don't worry, this doesn't mean that the lesson is visible to visitors to your site. That only happens when you publish the course. So what this allows you to do is preview a course and then see the lessons you've published in the course here so you can start practicing and seeing what the course looks like as you flow through it. So the next step here is to add any lesson specific resources. So you can do this by clicking the add resource button and link to a file or a URL. What I'm gonna do here is upload a, upload a file. Let's see, I actually already uploaded this PDF so I'm going to use that and then give it a little description. And I can even change the um, res default resource name to something like, and then save that work. Any resources I add here to the lesson will dynamically populate in the lesson content as you'll see here in just a moment. So the next step is to actually add the lesson content with the Thrive Visual Editor, which is what we'll do right now. So once the visual editor loads, you can see here is our video lesson that's featured as well as the course or the lesson title. And then that dynamically populated resources area. So here's the title we gave it and a download and open option as well. Now, if you wanna start adding content to the lesson, here's how you do that. Open the elements tray and then you can drop things like text elements to to maybe reiterate what the, the lesson is about. And you can add things like images. And because we're using the Thrive Visual Editor here, we can resize and style those images as we need. Okay, and we can even add supplemental video content if we have it for that lesson. Just drop a video element onto the content area, select your video hosting platform, and then insert the URL. Again, you can resize this video as you need. But what I really like about building lessons inside Thrive Architect is using the block design templates. So I can drop that into the content area and then I'll just show all the blocks. You can see there's almost 200 template designs to choose from and I can filter based on the type of content I need. So say I'm gonna talk about the gear that's, gonna, that's required to build video courses. I can click on this resource list or product review list, select the design I want and then just start tweaking each of these items to fit my own content needs. So for example, if I'm gonna talk about recommended microphones, I could do that here, change the text, link to an affiliate purchase link, and then maybe even change my recommended number of stars in this particular design. Once I'm happy with that, I can save the work and then as you'll see, when you actually preview it from the front end, what the student and customer sees is exactly what you saw building the lesson. So this means there's no level of abstraction between building your content and how viewers actually see it once it's live. Okay, so now that we have the first lesson created, it's time to flesh out the rest of the course. Now you have a few options to do this. You can build each lesson from scratch like we did before, or you can actually duplicate lessons. So you can create clones of a previous lesson, and this is a cool strategy to save some work if your lessons are gonna be similar in structure, in structure from lesson to lesson. So if you use this strategy, you just need to edit the summary content to um, change the title, change the URL, change the description, and change the lesson video if you are indeed using a video for your lesson. 
Okay, save that work. Then you'll need to go back into the visual builder to update the content that you see when the lesson is displayed. All right, maybe we want to change out a new block template design. And modify all these things. And then we can save that lesson. And then back in the dashboard, we'll publish it. And if we preview the course now, you'll see that here are these two lessons available for you to start running through and see if the structure of your course makes sense. Okay, so let's say that I've completed all of the lessons of my course, but I want to change the flow or structure of lessons around and add them to chapters and modules. Well, that's very easy to do in Thrive Apprentice. So first I can just swap lessons around by dragging and dropping them. I can add things like modules and I'll give it a title. I'll give it a description. And we'll just save that. Okay, so it has automatically added all of my lessons into the same module. So let's go ahead and add another module. We'll call it Gear Overview. And now we can start dragging and dropping created lessons into that new module. Now, what if we want to have chapters within the module? We can also do that by adding a chapter. And let's add a second chapter. And here we can drag our lessons as we like into that new chapter we created. Whoops. Okay, so now we have lessons inside chapters and chapters inside modules. So you can continue this flow as you like. I'm just gonna create one more module. I've just created one more module that I'm gonna add this lesson here too. And now you can see we have a really nice flow to our course, an introductory model and lesson, um, two chapters about gear, um, sort of an uh, intro to gear, and then each of the different things we need to get, and then how to start practicing. So you can see very, you can set up very sophisticated structures for your courses to make them make the most sense and flow best for your students. And now if we preview the course, you'll see that those module chapter lesson sort of structure is um, visible here in the course overview page, as well as the sidebar if you decide to set that up. Okay, so what about restricting access to your courses? Well, if you click on the Access Restrictions tab, you'll notice that by default, every course you create is available to everyone on your site. It's a public course. But by clicking on the Restrict Access toggle, you now have options to limit who can see your course. So let's talk about creating a free online course lead magnet first, a subscriber-only course. The way to do that in Thrive Apprentice is to set a restriction label, which you can create and customize. So I've created these two already. I'll select subscriber only, and then I'll come down to WordPress role and select subscriber. So once I save that and then publish my course, so now the course is visible on the front end of the website. So when people visit the course's overview page, you can see that the course I just created is now subscriber only. And to access that course, if I try to click on one of the lessons, 
it brings me to a default login registration page. Now you can use this setup or you can set other behaviors for your visitors. So what I'd like to show you here is instead of sending people to a basic login registration page, I'm actually going to redirect people to a custom page. It's this uh, comfortable on camera sign up page or lead generation page. And when I save that and try to access the course again, you'll see I'm taken to a landing page, this lead gen page. And instead of just using a simple uh, lead generation form, I'm actually using one of the Thrive Visual Editor's hybrid login registration forms. So here I have it set up where if someone doesn't have an account already, they can sign up and then get access to the course, or if they're already a subscriber, they can log in instead. But let's say you want to limit this course access to paying customers only. Here's how to do that. Instead of using a subscriber only restriction label, we'll use the premium course one we built. And instead of sending people to a lead generation landing page, we'll send them to a sales page instead. So here's one I've already created and I'll just save that. But also we need to integrate Thrive Apprentice with one of its three native checkout tool integrations. So that is Sindao, Thrivecart, and WooCommerce. Now of these three options, WooCommerce is actually free. So if you're interested on seeing how to set up that integration, we have lots of great tutorial content and even a free Thrive University course to help you there. But just to show you how this could work, I've already set this up on this demo site for this course. Let's assume you're a visitor who's come who's found the course and wants to get started with the first lesson. Instead of it redirecting to that landing page, they're now getting redirected to a sales page. And when they try to purchase, I have it set up with WooCommerce to send them directly to the cart checkout page with the course added. I hope you're starting to see how powerful Thrive Apprentice is when it comes to offering free courses, lead generation courses, and yes, paying courses onto your WordPress website that you can actually build a real business around selling. And then when you take a look at the student and customer experience of buying and then taking a Thrive Apprentice built online course, I mean, it's just gorgeous straight out of the box. We have these amazing course overview pages that lead into module and chapter organization, sidebar navigation, as well as lesson pages that you can customize to your desire. Truly, there is just no other online course building solution for WordPress entrepreneurs out there that gives you this level of customization, flexibility, and control to help you build, grow, and scale your online business. So that's a quick look at how easy and enjoyable it is to build online courses on WordPress using Thrive Apprentice. And if you're ready to get started right now, then you're gonna need Thrive Suite, the all-in-one online business building toolkit for WordPress entrepreneurs like you. Inside Thrive Suite, not only do you get Thrive Apprentice, but you get all of our conversion-focused plugins, as well as Thrive Theme Builder, the only fully customizable visual theme builder for WordPress. So check out the links in the description box below. And if you have any questions about building online courses with Thrive Apprentice or what you've seen in this video, make sure to leave us a comment. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.